So we're getting ready for another big stage of our mobile home rebuild project. And that is the second half of the roof. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we just installed the metal roof on half of our old mobile home and we just loaded up some wood. We have our materials and we're gonna go over there right now and start the second side. I wish I had a zoom lens right now because we just got here to the property and this is pretty cool. Our neighbors are getting a new mobile home. It's just coming in right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going right across over there. Basically across the road from us. It's a really nice looking one, double wide. They got the one half already in place and the other one going in, so pretty neat. Another cool thing happening is right now is the beginning of the eclipse. So, so how are you viewing the eclipse today? With a welder's mask that was at this property when we tore down the, the shed thing. This was in there and I kept it, plus my sunglasses. Right now it's about peak time and it just looks like a moon for us. We don't have a total eclipse here. All right, we got a lot of noise here today. We got the new mobile home going in. We got the dogs barking. So I'm just gonna focus. I'm gonna put the camera on and we're gonna get all the wood strapped down on this roof. We're starting late in the day, but I think we can still make some big progress if we get started now. So let's get the wood going.
So let me give you a little update of where we're at. Yesterday, we got almost all the furring strips on the roof. There was one more row we have to do at the top, and this is a tricky row because we have to switch to a one by four instead of a two by four, and we have to shim it up level because there's a strip of plywood at the ridge and the plywood throws off the height of everything. So we have to kind of find a balance there. So that's what we're gonna work on this morning is getting the last row done at the very top, shim it up, and then hopefully, I'm hoping we can get to doing the metal drip edge today. If we can get there, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, I'm bringing up a pack of these. I'm bringing up these. I'll bring another one. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. This is part of it. I can work with these a little bit. I'll do this one. Let me get my board. Let me tack it in and see what it does so I can give a better idea. Because the metal changes a lot. So we're super low right here, so we're gonna... Yep. Oh, because this is shimmed up. So yeah, we're gonna have to come up even higher than we normally would. Probably not that high. Oh, it is just a little bit more, huh? Looks good. We just finished all the wood on the roof. We are ready to do more wood on the roof. I just remember we got to do some right here. Oh yeah. I Almost forgot done. about those too. All right, let's get those cut and get in. Then we'll be ready for the metal. I'm here. Hi. Ugh. What is that? <laughs> How'd you measure that too long? I don't know. That was weird. See, he does mess up measurements sometimes. That, that was exactly an inch too long. I don't know what I did. Yeah. That was weird. Proof right there that you don't always get it right. Right, Doug? Well. Well, that feels good to get that done. We got both ends finished up way down there. So now all we have to do is start doing the metal edging on the front edge. This is a drip cover, cover up the purlins, make the edge look pretty. 
depending on how fast we work today, we might start the middle roof. Let's keep going. All right, so here is our metal drip cap. Instead of a drip cap, we got, it is a drip cap, I don't know what to call this. Instead of a drip edge, this is a uh, cap that'll go right around the purlin, right around our gutter, our mini mobile home gutter, and it'll hide everything. What we're doing with this is kind of sticking it out. Let me show them. You guys can see how much space we have here. By doing that and leaving that gap, we're kind of artificially extending our roof and creating a larger overhang. We're only allowed a two inch overhang max because of the wind uplift and all that stuff. So we can only stick the metal out two inches unless we build wooden eaves to structurally support the metal. So two inches is kind of small, but by extending this an inch and a half or so out past the metal, we can put our metal roof two inches past that and you have a two inch overhang, you know, because the metal gets screwed down and th that's all the wind can touch is at two inches. Does that make sense? So even though it looks like a tiny overhang on the house, the overhang is, ex is actually extending, you know, about four inches more than it did before altogether. That's pretty good. Yeah. The gutter is just a little bent. Okay, go ahead. We just finished up all the drip cover on the other side and we're rolling right into metal. We got our sheets all laid out right here and pre-drilled all of our holes exactly where we'll need them on all the sheets. We have two stacks, everything's ready. So we're kind of pushing it today, but we're really trying to make big progress fast. So we're gonna keep working. We're gonna start hauling these up and get as many on the roof as we can tonight. Yeah.
Well guys, there it is. We are done for the night. This was incredibly huge progress today. You might notice that we couldn't finish. We're one panel shy from finishing because when we told the roof people our dimensions, we said the roof was 60 feet long, but it is in fact 61 feet long. So we didn't have enough metal. Now there's more than a foot at the end because what we did was when we got to the end of the other side, we had to cut a foot off a panel to use to fill in that space. So we had about two feet of panel left over. We started with that. So we have about two feet that we have to fill on this end. It just turned out that way. I'll try to show you guys what it's looking like. So here's the plan. I already called the roofing people and I told them I needed one more sheet. It's not a problem. They're gonna have it ready for me to go pick up. So. After that, we put the last panel up, and then we throw the gable trim on the edges, on the ends, and then the ridge cap on top. We have all that trim out back, and then the roof is complete. So it's gonna be coming soon. I don't know when, after we pick up the metal, it might be a couple days. And then the house it will be safe and dried in, and we can take our time on the inside without worrying about roof leaks. This is a huge turning point. I didn't think we'd be doing the roof right now, but we made it happen and I'm glad we did. Now our roof looks so nice, we definitely gotta clean up this outside and get the paintwork done. Can't wait to see this whole place looking fresh again. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Bye. <laughs> We have good news and we have bad news. The bad news is that last night or this morning, we had a heavy rain before we could finish our roof. So part of our roof was still open. We don't have the ridge cap on there. That means things got wet. That's not great. The good news is that we were able to get our last sheet of metal back there. It's underneath the cover sheet. So we do have the last panel that we need to finish our mobile home roof. 